Welcome back to the channel. This is just a follow-up to some previous videos I did on uh, zinc plating and blue chromate. So I just wanted to go through that one more time really quickly, um, kind of setting it up from scratch. I had it all broken down, so I wanted just to uh, go through it really quickly one time and show you how quick and easy this really is. So I spent probably, I don't know, 15-20 minutes getting everything out and setting on this table. And this is uh, all that's needed. It looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot. So down here in this bucket, which I normally keep outside, is uh, muriatic acid. So I'll be using that outside. I'm gonna go ahead and have it in the garage, put it open. And I've got our muriatic acid rinse, which is, this is just distilled water. I've got a degreaser, which is a product I purchased from uh, Caswell's, Caswell Coatings. Got my power source so I can control my uh, amperage and voltage at a uh, very precise level. Got my zinc bath, um, which is basically, uh, I mean, it's, it's also a product I got from Caswell's, but it also includes these uh, zinc plates, and those will be connected to the power source. And then some brightener. Zinc rinse, which is just distilled water. 5% muriatic acid, which is mostly distilled water, just a little little tiny splash of muriatic acid and then my blue chromate and a blue chromate rinse so all these have just been stored in the buckets except for the zinc rinse so I'll fill this up with distilled water everything else has the chemicals in there from the last time I did this which was I don't know six months ago maybe I'm not sure um, I'm gonna drop my uh, I got two fish tank heaters I'm gonna drop one in the blue chromate I'll drop another in the uh, zinc bath this crock pot here will have a degreaser. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, you need some extension cords. And then the only other thing you'll need is copper wire and like a stick to lay across here to hang, hang the uh, items on. So what I'm doing today, just to let you know why I'm doing this, all of a sudden here in the middle of working on my car, I had previously plated the, uh, the hood latch, which came out really great, really happy with that, but I missed the, uh, the bolts that go on it. So I'm going to strip these and plate these. You know, these have the big fender washer, but they also have, also have little nibs on the bottom of them that you can see where they dig in. And they dig into that bracket there. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a special specialty part here, not easy to find. So, um, I'm just gonna replate these, much easier than replacing. So they're perfectly good. And then also uh, my EGR uh, block off plate. Um, I missed that before when I was plating stuff, so I'm gonna get that plated so it doesn't rust. It's just bare metal. And then the, uh, the nuts that hold that on. And now while I have it set up, I'll look around for anything else I've missed, but those are really the only parts I need to do. So uh, like I said, I'm 15, 20 minutes in. So I'll get a... Uh, I'm going to get my heaters going and get my crock pot going, then I can go in and do some work, and then I'll come back out here in a couple hours and it'll be uh, ready to rock and roll. And it should only take 20 minutes to uh, run an item through the process here. I'll also go ahead and drop the uh, those parts into the muriatic acid. Um, do that now and it'll be ready in uh, a couple hours. I'll pull it out and clean it up. All right, be back in a minute. All right, it's been another 20 minutes or so. I've uh, got my heater and the blue chromate. And I've got my uh, zinc bath all set up with the heater, uh, fish tank pump, my zinc, and those uh, two plates are connected there. So this is ready to uh, connect. Uh, I'll put a link for my uh, original zinc plating uh, video down below in the summary. Then uh, in that video, I'll talk about the specs on how to uh, how to tune your voltage and amperage to get the right uh, right plating. Um, one thing I didn't mention: uh, baking soda and water. Maybe about a half gallon of water, a tablespoon of baking soda, and that will uh, create a neutralizer for your muriatic acid. So this already came out of the acid bath. So when you take it out of the muriatic acid, which is out here. 
dip it in that uh, water and baking soda mix and that'll neutralize that acid. You can rinse this off and you're good to go. So before I go into the uh, degreaser, which is the next step, I'm going to uh, use my wire wheel over there and just uh, try to smooth out these corners a little bit. Get this thing kind of shiny. The texture of this going in will be the same as the texture when you're at the end of the process. So I just want this to be smooth and shiny. So we'll see what the wire, um, wire wheel does. And that's just a uh, brass uh, wire. All right, this is on warm for now. I'm just gonna leave it warm. I get to go and do some work for a few hours. I'll come back out later. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, turn it up to high. And then I'll get it at the temp I need. And then I'll, uh, I'll soak this part and run it all the way through the process. So. Uh, Again, I'm not gonna go through all that on video here. I'll put a link to my original video down below and you can check that out. All right, see? And just like magic, these pieces look like brand new. Can't believe how nice they turned out. So uh, let's go ahead and put them on the car. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. The EGR plate came out great. The hood latch looks good. So uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you next time. See you.